Hi guys, welcome to the VFX Show, the show on the internet that teaches you how to do visual effects for your next film. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the scene that you just saw in the beginning. It's a pretty uh, complex scene, so let's get started. So first I went, went over to sci-fi3d.com and I went to the Blade Runner section and I found this nice police station 3D model that I downloaded and threw it into 3ds Max. Once I threw it into 3ds Max, I added lighting to appropriately fit the scene and uh, the camera work and everything to make the scene fit better. Then what I did was I rendered it out in three passes, which was the regular light pass, uh, the uh, the light emission pass, and then the the base pass. And then I composited it all together and put it into the scene. Added levels to fit the scene a little better and then what I did after that is I duplicated the background later and added an extract to it and what an extract does is like basically uh, key light for bright things and so the bright things in the odd uh, the bright bright things in the scene like the sky I took out and I feathered it <clears throat> Then I found this model of like a sci-fi like road duster truck and I edited it a little bit and added these this little V-Ray light material to the bottom of it so it have this little uh, light to it which I wanted so it would look more interesting flying by. It wouldn't just look like a gray box. So then I added it to the scene, added position to hit the building and I used that little, I rendered out like a pass of just that light and I duplicated a few times and colored it to pop in the scene. <clears throat> then, after I um, did that, I need an expl I needed an explosion. So when the uh, uh, you know the little hovercraft hits the uh, side of the building, so I found this uh, flight aerial explosion from Video Copilot, and it's a pretty nice 3D explosion made in the uh, fume effects. And what I did was I duplicated it um, a few times. I put it uh, and I added like Gaussian blur and uh, glow and everything to make it pop more in the scene. And then what I did was I added a optical flare from Video Copilot onto the shot. Um, and I just made it a regular uh, default flare. It was pretty faint in the shot, but it adds a lot to the scene and it blows up everything. And then, uh, the side of the building I thought needed a little like particles falling down like the side of the building, so I uh, just put a particular effect on there. And it was basically just a point directional uh, explosion, very simple, uh, and I didn't need anything more because it was, you know, pretty you know, small. And then what I did was I added a vignette, uh, color grade, and um, my aspect ratio bars. Then that tied everything together. Then that's how I made the shot, and I may even made the little light from the building like go down and I dropped the opacity. That's essentially what I did. Nothing too fancy. Everything, just one frame render in 3ds Max. Of course you can do that in Element 3D, I just did it this way. I like doing it that way. It might be more complicated, but I like it. it has more control. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and please consider subscribing.